this video, we'll be going over a Carnot cycle efficiency problem. So in this problem, we have an engine that's following the Carnot cycle, and it produces a power of 90,000 kilowatts. In this problem, we need to find the rate at which heat is absorbed into the system from the hot reservoir and leaves the system, and find the heat that leaves the system to the cold reservoir for an engine that operates between the reservoirs at 750 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin. So uh, pause the video and take a stab at this problem, and then I'll be going over the solution to this in the rest of the video. Okay, so for efficiency, remember that we had um, this expression that we had derived in one of our videos, 1 minus Tc over Th. So in this problem, our cold reservoir is at 300 Kelvin, and our hot reservoir is at 750 Kelvin. Now another, um, where this came from was network done by gas over our Q in. Our Q in is the heat that is absorbed into the system from the hot reservoir. That is what we've been calling our Q in. And the heat that leaves the system to the cold reservoir is our Q out. So remember back to our PV diagram. There are four points. It's not the best um, diagram of the current cycle, but this is where Q in is coming in. And this is at our TH. And here. We are at TC. This is Q out. So anyway, the net work done, that is the power, that value that's been given to us. So we know that this is at 90,000 kilowatts. But we don't know the heat absorbed into the system from the hot reservoir, which is our Q in. But we are given TC and TH. So then we can find our efficiency. We'll have efficiency here, the net work done, and we can solve for Q in. So our efficiency will be 1 minus our TC is 300, our TH is 750. This is equal to 0 0.6. This is also equal to 90,000 kilowatts over our Q in. So then our Q in will be equal to 150,000 kilowatts. So that is the heat absorbed into the system from the hot reservoir. Um, okay, so now if you'll remember um, now we need to find the basically our Q out, the heat that leaves the system to the cold reservoir. So back to this network. If you remember that was equal to work from one to two plus work from two to three plus work from three to four plus work from four to one all over our Q in. Now in the um, derivation efficiency, I explained why these two cancel out. And that's because the process from 2 to 3 and 4 to 1, they're both adiabatic, isentropic for an ideal gas. And this is going from TH to, C to TC, and this is going the exact opposite direction from TC to TH. This W work is equal to Q in. So sorry, these two processes, 1 to 2 and 3 to 4, are isothermal. So the work from 1 to 2 is simply going to also equal our Q in. And the work from 3 to 4 is going to equal our Q out. So here, this will simplify to Q in plus Q out over Q in. 
So basically we'll have one. Um, so now we know what our QN is and we know that this is equal to 0 0.6. So we can solve for Q out. And our Q out is going to be equal to 60,000, sorry, negative 60,000 kilowatts. And so we know that it is leaving the system. And sorry, so this was all equal to 0 0.6, which is efficiency that we found from here. Okay, thanks for watching.